Hey. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll put like, the beard down there. Yeah, all right. I don't want to influence badly to young people. Okay. Well, uh, hello, everybody. Um, it's Friday evening, and we're at Swing. 46, uh, which is on 46th Street, and it's a very, very famous uh, jazz uh, locale, a jazz uh, haunt here in New York City. And with me, uh, and Alice, who's uh, filming this, thanks Alice, is uh, the most amazing and very well known and very well respected George G. So George, thanks for, for taking these two minutes off from, he's playing in sight tonight, so he's on a, on a break. And uh, we've just got these couple of minutes to talk to. George, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your band, the kind of music that you're playing and that you want to play, especially for Lindy Hoppers. Right, right. And, uh, and then perhaps you can tell us about Swing 46 and your experience here. Well, I mean, the Joint G Swing Orchestra is, uh, I've been doing it for 35 years, believe it or not. And I've had the privilege of playing for swing dancing. Um, all over the country and many places outside of America. And you know, like I was telling you, I love the Count Basie, What's Chick Webb, I know Hampton sound, but at the same time, I really like to be able to um, push the envelope a little bit. Yeah. For, you know, to keep the music evolving, growing, and challenging um, the dancers and the musicians to, to be the best and to be innovative. Because this music, big band music, is an innovative form of music. I mean, Count Basie, who is my musical idol, I, I love his body of work. But at the same time, this is the year 2014. And the time and the culture now dictates, I believe, a growth and an evolution of the music. And the dancing also that goes along with it. Tell us about that. Tell us how important it is for you, the connection between yourself, the music that you play and that the band plays, and the dancers. Well, I mean, playing for dancing um, for us is a very it's a serious business. It's a, it's a responsibility that we take with a lot of pride. Um, because playing for dancing gives us, the musicians, that, uh, that ability to interact with the audience directly. Rather than having folks just sitting down, and I mean, you know, they could be tapping their fingers or stepping their toes, but but but, but when they're dancing and doing the Lindy Hop, and and, and they are in the rhythm, their bodies and our music is in the same sync of rhythm. It's it's pure ecstasy, you know what I mean? It's a really it's a high, it's a drug, um, you know, to watch those dancers, and I I, I like to think that the dancers feel the same about us as much as we feel about the dancers, that synergy, you know what I mean, that Absolutely. synergy. Yeah. And what about the, uh, in a club like uh, Swing 46, it's a mix for you uh, and for musicians because on the one hand you've got people who are just listening, tapping their toes and clicking their fingers and sitting and maybe having dinner, maybe maybe having a glass of wine or whatever, but also you have dancers. Is, is there, how do you work that? How do you keep everybody interested? all the time. Well, as a band leader, um, I'm constantly observing 360 degrees of my environment. And what I mean, Swing 46 is very comfortable for us because we've been playing, we were the first band to play here 17 years ago. And um, so it's a very comfortable environment for us. I, I, I literally know every crevice and of the dance floor in the room. So I'm always observing what's going on, what music works, I, you know, I have a, a huge selection of repertoire that I can pick on a whim. I do not do a set, a set list. Okay. Never. Um, only because what I think will work an hour ago was an hour ago. Okay. You, I go with the flow of what's working on the dance floor. I look at the diner. I look at the dancers. I look at the couples. I look. I look at the. I think about the song beforehand and the song, the next song. And my mind is always kind of like. Think game, sure. You know, I may be, I may be up there with a big grin because I'm, I'm swinging so hard, and I love it. But I'm actually um, kidneys. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so, uh, tell me about your formation then, because uh, if there's no set, that means that you, the rest of your musicians are ready. Yes. They know the arrangements, which I imagine are your arrangements. Oh yes, my music yes. director, who's not here today, Dave Gibson, is my trombonist. Um, he writes a lot of our arrangements and transcriptions 
and um, they're going to be featured on our new CD coming up, which is appropriately entitled "Swing Makes You Happy." Don't you feel? Well, we will never feel. Good. Um, so the music, or I mean, technically speaking, they're all in numerical order. So I just like very uh, discreetly bark out a number. Okay, wow. And then did it, I hear you say nine on stage or nineteen earlier or something like oh, that? Oh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Under my breath, or yeah. I have. I'm, I guess I'm sort of like a quarterback with hand signals. You know yeah. What I mean? okay. on, or you know, I I I mouth numbers and I'll go. Okay. You know, people can. And that means that your formation, uh, they've been with you um, a long time. Or yes. Do, do you uh, change between musicians? I mean, being in New York, we're, we're so lucky to have a, a, a act access to a lot of talented musicians that knows the big band idiom. Yeah. So we never lacking for a family of good musicians to be part of our, the group. Okay. That's great. Tell me about. Uh, tell us about. Thanks about uh, Swing Forty Six. Um, because you said that you were the first band here at yes. 17 years ago um, and you talked earlier about development and that we're in 2014. How has Swing 46, the club, changed over those 17 years? <coughs> How have people, in the sense of the audience, changed or uh, over the last 17 years? Where's the connection between all of this? Well, Swing 46 is, is amazing in, in, its own, in, in its way that it's the only swing club left standing seven nights a week in the entire universe. There were swing clubs, as you know, everywhere. Sure. They were like a dime a dozen. Yeah. But in 2014, it's the only active, true to Lindy Hop and big band music dance club. And they could have easily gone many different paths. But they, the owners and the, uh, the management love swing, Lindy Hop, big band music. I, you know, I, they really haven't changed. They've kept to that policy pretty um, stubbornly since day one. Um, the audience has changed, They've, but I mean, Swing 46 always has a good cross section of tourists, <laughs> big band music lovers, jazz lovers, and Lindy Hoppers. I mean, what I love about Swing 46 is that it attracts Lindy Hoppers and music lovers from around the world. When they come to New York City, they're always like, like you were, you like the way you honored us by saying we had to go see George G's band at Swing Forty Six. That to have a home base in Times Square in New York City. Yeah. If I'm bold enough to say the music capital of the world, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, we're we're, we're a bunch of lucky so and so. You know what I mean? That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what about the next few years for you? Mm. I mean, what happens with somebody um, like yourself? Especially with this, with this gig, you know, that's so solid, and as you mentioned yourself, in such a fantastic place, how can you transform, develop, push yourself, all, still within this, the spectrum of swing? Uh, where you said that, you know, you're, 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 the music at the moment, you're trying to, you know, take risks, you're trying to keep everybody on their toes. Uh, where does that come from, uh, from inside you? Where, where is that, uh, where is that need and that curiosity to grow as a swing artist? I like to think that I've been doing that from forever. That it's not just something that has just developed now. I've always been pushing the envelope musically, but but still staying true to the big band roots. Um, I do that to keep everybody interested. Because it, it's not just about keeping the audience in, interested, but it's also about keeping the musicians interested too. If the musicians are interested, the music's going to be hotter. You know, I mean, um, it's going to be more. Um, Swinging. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we have a we, we're a family of musicians that work together on a regular basis. Um, but it's a family because it's, um, it's, it, it has its highs and lows, like every family. But uh, we're fortunate that that um, that people love being in the George G band because it's a good environment. It's a feel good situation, and like. You know, we're lucky that audiences and dancers <laughs> like us. Well, we can certainly feel that from the floor, you know. Um, is swing jazz? <laughs> of course. Why are you asking me that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a question about jazz and jazz and what happened to jazz and developments and, uh, and swing being poo-pooed a little by, by a jazz artist as the change happened. Um... Like everything else in life, 
whether it's jazz, music, <laughs> politics, <laughs> public policy. Yes. You can't please everybody. Everybody <laughs> has their own um, on angle, uh, perspective. So, I mean, jazz and swing are hand in hand. Whether it's bebop, funk, jazz, or um, smooth jazz, not my favorite, or <laughs> big band swing, or hot jazz, it's interchangeable, you know what I mean? Um, some jazz you can dance to, some jazz you can't. Sure. I guess that's really the root of the so-called controversy, you know? Undanceable jazz, there's nothing wrong with it, but you just just can't dance too good to it. <laughs> How about yourself? Do you dance uh, a couple of passes, a couple of uh, numbers? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, being in the business as long as I have, and, you know, I've been known to twirl the, once in a while here and there. I mean, uh, the, the joke is that I've been doing the same couple of steps for the last 15 <laughs> years, but I'm damn good at it. <laughs> George G., thanks very much for this interview. Uh, well, this is myself and Alicia on camera. We're delighted that George uh, said yes to our sudden and out of the blue uh, uh, proposal and just to, uh, just to ask him would he, would he do this uh, interview with us here tonight at uh, Swing 46. Uh, we're just like 42nd Street is uh, just a few blocks away. Uh, it's Friday night, there are a lot of people around. Inside, uh, I guess, are you, are you starting again? Yes, Is we have another it? set. He's so got another set, so better, we better let him go back to start to work. <laughs> and, and don't forget, you, um, you're, filming, you're welcome to film a couple of the sets so you can put them on your oh, video great. blog. And don't forget, Jude, swing makes you happy. Good man. <laughs> Thanks, George. Okay, look, I'll, I'll drink to that. <laughs>